So things are winding down here at the Beverly Hills Arts Festival. These are some of my neighbor artists that I have nearby. And you can see there's a lot of places to walk around, check out the booths. Yen, we're here, we're not here. a friendly store, and the industrial art, and I have uh, some sculptures here behind me. So I wanted to take a tour with you before uh, the light goes down here. The solar piece sculpture out front. Actually, let me start at the beginning. <clears throat> So this is the end of Booth 128 at the Beverly Hills Arts Festival. This was uh, our first time at this show. It's a lovely weekend. And uh, this is the front. So I had two easels and uh, a tent. Something on each side of the easels. See here. And. Uh, also had out the solar peace sculpture, which got a lot of attention today. Some really spectacular visits from some people. Uh, it was really great to see a lot of the kids came up and check this out. So that was really fun. And you can see I had a great spot. There's my second easel over there. And the tent and the walls, it was really open space. Wonderful piece of real estate. I've got uh, Beverly Drive going through there. And I had paths on both sides of me. And so I could also have art on both walls. Thank you, Amy, for your lovely flowers. They lasted both days. It's my little butterfly. That's a great spot. Someone put that there. Uh, someone put that there, too. I think that was Jim. You picked that place. Um, so you can see inside the booth from pretty much all angles, so it's a really good placement. That's my tablecloth from Africa. This is one of the most popular pieces this weekend, and hopefully uh, I have a client who is going to come back for this one, kind of Andy Warhol. So from the back you can see in, I wish I could remember the configuration. I'll try to remember this configuration. It worked really well for me. Because you could really um, float through the space. I have some down here. And uh, you can just kind of wander through. It also happened to stay shady all day, which was really nice. So you can see the sculpture from here, too. This was also a nice, popular piece this weekend. And still my personal favorite is glowing, even though there's no sun in here. And you can see all the way down to the other easel and the other wall. This is a fun wall that Gavi and I created, our little mix-match thing we do. Thank you, Gavi, for all your help in getting up at 6 a.m. Actually, you probably got up at 5 a.m. to come help me at 6 a.m. Hang this whole show. And, uh, and then this wall, this was Gavi's creation, putting these together like this. And uh, yeah, there's one more piece over here. So you can see that um, the structure, thank you Hayati for helping put together the walls, because it really created a, an open space where just uh, from standing in one place you can see art from a lot of different angles. I think there's one more over here that I have. And uh, people said they could see stuff from the street. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with the space and our little chair to hang out. I think there was one more piece, yep. And I think Tom put that there. That was Tom's little setup. Thank you, Tom. So, yeah, this wall, I think Jim is going to buy that one. And uh, I was very happy with the um, setup for the place. Met a lot of wonderful people, met a lot of potential clients, and hopefully soon to be purchases.
So thanks guys for helping me out with my very first show in Beverly Hills. I hope it's one of many to come. I had a great time. And thank you for everyone who came down to visit. Kept me company, kept me laughing. Um, and I will see you all again. So check back again at My Tribe Media to hear about more projects that I'm working on. And I'll let you know everything I learned from the show. All right, mytribemedia.com. This is Laura Martirella. Thanks.